here is the underside of the top of a hive. Um, today I am going through these two hives, these first uh, two, this is just boxes in the middle. And then we're pulling some out and making nukes for the third. Oh, hi, car. And um, they always do that when I'm recording. I can't tell you how many times I've had to stop recording. Not today, Satan. Um, so I'm splitting, splitting into two nukes. We call these overwinter nukes, quite common up here in cold, cold New England. Um, they kind of keep each other warm. Uh, over the winter, you kind of increase your odds of getting some through a long winter. So there, there's going to be two, two hives going in here. And then <clears throat> I'll be adding room to these guys because they are quite full, especially the Saskies over here, which I got this here mostly just for eggs because I'm not convinced they're great at overwintering. I do that. <sighs> Or my other theory is the uh, big cornfields down the road are spraying in and make it to noise. Just still got to look into that, given that pretty high odds. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I had planned to do like an in-process video, but you know, every time I try, by the time I get into the thick of it, it's just too difficult to do the two things at once. And uh, I got to get some stuff off in the mail today. And... Uh, Got to resize a focus for a, an old customer and get some other things done. So I'm just going to do it. And this is your bee update for today. Okay, I pulled frames from uh, the Sasky hive. As usual, insane amounts of eggs in there. So uh, each side has three frames of eggs, brood, larva, and uh, nice to see those bees are not taking off. They are all going to be good, good nurse bees. There's going to be tons of them in there. And uh, so I'm going to add one more frame of uh, pollen and nectar from the other hive, if I can find some. If not, I think I have some kicking around anyway. And uh, out of the super, the um, hive in the back are the Saskatraz bees that lay crazy eggs. And... Uh, they're just they're booming they'll swarm if i don't keep on top of those guys they're crazy these are my italians i'm gonna get in there and inspect them and probably they'll just be doing doing just fine take a couple frames put them in the uh, double nukes and uh i will uh see what those guys are gonna do uh they're, they're not famous for getting through winter as well but i thought i would just give them a try <clears throat> i can always requeen uh the next couple months uh i would like some pedigreed carniolan that's the best luck i've ever had and uh this we have no idea what we're gonna get could be my bees it could be the neighbor's bees uh you know something like a 10 mile range on the drones who are pretty transient anyway so uh i don't know it's gonna be gonna be a mystery on those guys unless i decide to requeen uh later this summer in the fall so that would make four hives i, I don't know <clears throat> small chance I'll have enough and try and do one more split or something like that. Um, but uh, I have so many, I have so many frames I got to deal with right now that I, I don't want to have too many hives this year. <laughs> um, finally got the solar wax melter set up going here. Let me see, are we making drip? Yeah, we're dripping some wax in there. That's great. So I can take all my old crummy frames from dead outs and whatever and just melt all the stuff out. If they're clean enough, you can actually do a run and get some uh, relatively decent honey. Um, it's good for brewing or personal use. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't tend to sell it. Um, but you also get uh, all the wax. I have I actually have an awful lot of wax. I gotta figure out what to do. And this is the the cleaner melter. This is, I call this the refiner because you can uh, you can take the stuff that isn't so clean out of this one and then you can run it through this guy. And it goes into these nice little cubes here that you can pull out and, and uh, get a nice good wax. So it's finally warm enough to get all that done. Got the uh, the garden. Needs some weeding, but it's doing great. The uh, chickens there in chicken jail because they've been ripping up the yard. And I'm trying to regrow a whole bunch of grass over here by the road. My blueberries are starting to grow little blueberries. 
Got a, some currents over here doing things. It's, it's looking like beautiful summertime around here. It's quite nice. Okay. So this is the Saskatraz hive. Um, this is a top new box that I added and we're already just filling it. This hive was so full. Um, go ahead and go in there. I'm sure they were I'm thinking about swarming, but I didn't see any swarm cells. Um, anyway, it's probably somewhere. That's the hay you've been messing with, I suppose. It's not as bad as the uh, queenless buzz. It's, uh, more higher pitched and it doesn't it never goes down. That's an interesting thing. You can learn to hear when a hive is queenless. <clears throat> Here's the uh, Italians. Now, yeah, there are actually some up here on the top. I gave them a box. They really didn't need it. They are so far behind those Saskia bees. And that's one of the things that they're bred for is laying eggs. So um, I was able to do two double uh, overwinter nuke splits off of that one hive and they are still really full. So last year, the Sasky hive in that same spot that was eight boxes high at one point, so twice as high as that, it was incredible. Anyway, these guys, much quieter. And uh, we'll see how they do. Mm -mm. And we've got the <clears throat> The uh, nukes here, there's their entrance. I already saw someone peeking, peeking out. Okay, here we go. They're looking around here in the top. They're quiet too. The sound, let's see if we can get that sound. That's the, hey, what just happened? We're settling in, boss. <laughs> I'm telling you, you really do get used to them. <clears throat> All right, so. Yeah, for the overwinter nuke here, there's one side here. <clears throat> one side here. Those little screens flip down to keep the mice out in the winter. The, these guys' is a, only goal is to make it through uh, nine months from now. That's, that's the only purpose in life. So that's it. Good day in the bee yard. No stings. No one, no one was aggressive. Super, super chill bees today. So that's a great sign. Little concerned about those Italians. Not much stores built up in there yet and uh, low in numbers, but we'll see how they go.